With energy bills on the rise, many of us seek ways to reduce our energy consumption without sacrificing comfort or convenience. Home automation can help, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Your existing habits and home infrastructure are critical to maximizing savings. Hello and welcome to Learn Home Automation. Today, we are exploring how home automation can contribute to energy savings. In this video, we'll introduce energy-saving smart devices and provide practical tips to optimize your smart home's energy usage. By the end, you'll understand the key factors that influence energy savings and be equipped with actionable ideas to optimize your smart home's efficiency. Home automation involves using smart devices and systems that can control various aspects of your home, such as lighting, heating, security, and entertainment, based on your desires without direct interaction. A home automation system can reduce energy consumption by automatically turning off lights and devices when not needed, adjusting thermostats based on your schedule, and controlling blinds and fans. By implementing the right strategies, you can lower your energy bills while enjoying the benefits of modern technology. However, it's important to pay attention to how much you spend on smart gadgets to ensure a financial benefit in the end. Motion sensors and presence sensors are the first step and a very useful addition in a smart home setup. Temperature sensors measure heat and humidity to enable efficient heating and cooling. Energy monitors track consumption for insights into usage. Smart lights control brightness and color, automatically adjusting based on room occupancy to offer convenience and improved room ambience. Infrared or RF controllers can control any device that uses a remote, such as air conditioners, televisions, and ceiling fans. Smart thermostats offer heating and cooling control, while radiator valves enable individual room temperature regulation. Smart relays can be installed in electrical boxes or your electrical panel to control related devices. These components can be part of a larger smart home system, enabling centralized control and automation. Your current habits and home infrastructure will determine how much energy you can save. Apartments are usually cheaper to heat and cool, but offer more limited automation options compared to detached houses. Additionally, renting further restricts possibilities. Consider the type of heating you use. Smart thermostats can control central heating systems while smart sockets manage smaller devices, ensure they're tested and rated for the required power. Having your own boiler gives you more control over how and when you use it, maximizing the potential for savings. In a central heating system, if consumption is measured by water flow to radiators or by the total time your thermostat was on, affects the effectiveness of radiator valves compared to thermostats. Solar power generation and dynamic electricity rates throughout the day could affect the times you use power-hungry devices for optimal efficiency. If you frequently forget to turn off lights and TVs, consider smart solutions, especially if not using LED lights. However, if you already practice good energy habits, expect automation to increase convenience, peace of mind, and comfort rather than extra savings. Keep in mind that smart devices themselves consume energy. To maximize efficiency, have a good plan for your smart home so that you can do the most with the least number of devices. The first step to making informed decisions about energy savings is monitoring your energy consumption. Smart electricity meters offer real-time data if you can connect your meter to your home automation hub. Dedicated sensors can monitor your meter if a direct connection isn't possible. Clamp sensors measure the electricity flowing through your main line or specific circuits. Power monitoring sockets reveal the energy consumption of specific devices or their power state. Power monitoring relays can be installed either behind a wall switch or on your electrical cabinet offering monitoring as well as control options. Prioritize safety when dealing with electricity. It's best to have some devices installed by a qualified professional to ensure safe installation and operation. 
Smart lights offer minimal savings if you already use LED bulbs, but they provide additional benefits without increasing consumption. The greatest potential for savings is in heating, especially if you have a completely autonomous system, followed by air conditioning and televisions. Cooking may consume a lot of energy, but there are limited ways to optimize it. Here are some practical tips to apply to your home automation system to help you optimize your energy usage. Use temperature sensors in the areas where your family spends the most time to determine the temperatures at which they feel comfortable. Note when heating or cooling is usually needed to set up your automated controls effectively. Prioritize heating people, not spaces, by maintaining comfortable temperatures in the areas where your family is present. Temperature sensors are best utilized when placed close to where you sit. The temperature near your sofa is more important than that near your bookcase. Set up notifications to alert you when the outside temperature is more comfortable than inside. On pleasant days, open your windows to naturally adjust the temperature instead of relying solely on your heating and cooling systems. Create automations to turn off heating or cooling when windows are open. Install thermostatic valves on radiators in less used rooms, allowing you to lower or turn off heating as needed to reduce energy use without compromising comfort in main living areas. In the summer, program the blinds to close automatically to block out the sun and reduce heat. In the winter, open the blinds during the day to let in sunlight and warm your home. Install motion-triggered lights in hallways and other areas where you don't need constant lighting. Lowering the brightness of your smart lights to 80% is usually unnoticeable and can result in further savings. Create an automation to turn off all devices and adjust the thermostat when you leave the house or go to sleep. Set up notifications to alert you when electricity rates are lower so you can run energy-intensive tasks like laundry. Now that you understand the factors and strategies to save energy, Assess your home's usage to identify improvement areas. Start by setting up energy and temperature monitoring and then work on the systems that will provide the most significant savings. Remember not to overspend on gadgets and try to strike a balance between convenience and efficiency. And that's it for today. What is the biggest energy saving tip you've implemented in your smart home? Which strategy from this video are you excited to try? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so why not leave a comment below? Thanks for watching, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.